You know one of my favorite things about curling my hair? It's the fact that it hides the second day or third day grease better than if it was just straight. Hello! Can you believe that it is September? It's blowing my mind. It's still pretty warm here, pretty humid in Arkansas, um, but I, even though it's still warm and it's still technically summer until kind of middle of September, I just feel like fall starts once September is here. And I start thinking about decorating for fall, fall smelling candles. Um, I just get really like excited about things to come. I love summer, it's my favorite season, but there's just something about fall that also has this excitement to it. A new month also means a new five faves that I'm gonna share with you this month. And this month has a theme and that is lotion. So everything that I'm gonna share with you today is a lotion or a balm. And the reason that I decided to go ahead and do this in September is because even though it's still warm here where I live, soon the weather is gonna start getting colder and with that it also is going to start getting a little drier. I live in a state that is humid most of the year but in the winter it does get very dry. I naturally have very dry skin so then it's even worse in the winter and then since I'm currently almost for two years been changing diapers all throughout the day my hands get extra cracked and can tend to bleed and that's something that I've dealt with since I was a teenager. So I have tried a ton of lotions for 15 plus years to try to combat my excessively dry skin. I have it on my face, I get it on my feet, my hands, I even get these little bumps on my arm and I'll talk about that later. And I'll share with you the things that I found that help me with my dry skin. If you don't have excessively dry skin but you may have a couple of things that pop up in the winter or any kind of rash or something that comes up, go ahead and watch this video because I'm going to be talking about a few things that you may not have seen before that may help you with any of your skin issues that you may have. So let's get started with the fun stuff, dry skin. First up I'm going to talk about something that you probably have seen. You've I, I see commercials for it pretty often. You're going to see it in drugstores and Walmart, Target, places like that. But you may never have tried it. Um, for the longest time, I thought it was something for old people. But I started using it a little bit in high school, but really started using it quite a bit in college. And that is Gold Bond. Did you automatically just think about old people? I don't know why I always think that this is an old person thing. I've tried a few of their different lotions, but the one that works best for me is the Healing with Aloe. And it's got vitamins A, C, and E. And it says it helps uh, heal dry problem skin. So this is the one that works best for me. You may want to give another one a try, but this is the one that I've found that I always come back to. And I have gone through several of these over the years. Now as far as the smell goes, it's just a light scent. Just kind of, I don't really know how to describe it. Maybe a slight aloe smell, but it's not anything floral. It's not fruity. It's just a very light scent and it does fade. So you're not, it's not going to be anything that's perfumed really. It is white and it is a very thick cream. It doesn't make my skin feel greasy or oily. It absorbs pretty quickly. And it does have a little bit of a smell once you put it on the skin. But again, that fades. It doesn't linger all throughout the day. I have used this on my face when it gets really bad in the winter. I don't just lather it on all over. You could, but I, if I just have a few little dry patches, I will just concentrate on that dry patch and use it at night and during the day on top of or in conjunction with the moisturizer that I already use for my face. I use this on my feet, um, my hands, my arms. It's much better than it used to be, but when I was in high school and college, I would get these sores on my arm and they were round spots that just would crack and would bleed and nothing at all would fix it until I started using this. And it may take a day or two, but I just get enough cream to kind of concentrate on the spot and just really rub it in and use it 
at least twice a day, morning and night, and maybe in the middle of the day. But this is something that is not expensive. Um, I often find coupons for it. You can look online. If you get the newspaper, look in the paper. But this is something that's just great for an all over body treatment to really target those problem spots. This is the lotion that I have used the absolute longest of any other lotion. The next item I'm going to talk about is something that you may have also seen in just about any store that you go into and you can even see find this in hardware stores but it may be something you haven't picked up because you thought this wasn't going to be something that you needed. Um, this is O'Keefe's Working Hands. This is the hand cream. They do have a foot cream, but I've not tried it. This is for dry hands that crack and split, and it says it's the leading hand cream for people who work with their hands. So the reason that you see this at hardware stores quite a bit is because it's targeting um, mechanics, craftsmen, people that are just constantly using their hands, and they're out in the elements, or they're using... Um, tools or oils or something that they have to scrub off their hands which in turn dries their hands out so that's maybe why you haven't ever thought to pick this up before i started using this when my baby was just a few months old and it was the middle of winter and my hands were just bleeding and nothing was helping so i picked this up let's first talk about smell because i do think that's important with each product we're going to talk about um this does have a smell to it it is not a pleasant smell it's not strong but um, and I don't really smell it so much when it's in the plastic tin but once I get it out and put it on my hands it has a slight mineral smell to it and that is because I think it does have it does have mineral oil in it so that's the reason you're gonna smell kind of that mineral oil smell my best guess on how this works so well is because it does have mineral oil in it. So what it's doing is it's putting a protective coat on the skin so that things can't penetrate it. So it's putting this layer over on top of your skin. So whenever you wash it, it's going to wash on top of your skin, but it's not, not going to penetrate into your pores. Um, into your hair follicles, things like that to dry it out. So this really is a protective coating. So basically this is just going to provide a coating for your skin. It does moisturize, it does help with the dry skin, but on top of helping, it's going to just put that barrier between your skin and anything that's trying to dry it out. This is not all natural. I've seen some people complain because it's got too many things in it that aren't natural. But I have to tell you, when you live with dry, cracked skin that is painful and you've tried natural things that don't work you're at the point that you're desperate for anything that's going to work but since this is trying to heal my skin um, I'm okay with the ingredients that are on it but I, I did want to mention that because I have seen that um, in a few people talk about that on TV I've seen it in a few articles that that's a complaint but if you live with dry skin then you know that you will try whatever will work this is I think anywhere from six to eight dollars um, and it's a pretty good size this is 2.7 ounces the great thing about this is a little bit goes a long way now with a cream you're gonna um, get a you know a, a coin size amount of cream in your hands and maybe use it this you don't scoop out the product you can barely touch it I mean that's just a tiny amount and that is going to get at least this entire top of my hand just a tiny amount it goes a long way this is a great item to try I do want to try the foot cream and see how I like it but give this a try um, and pick it up if you're looking for something that's really gonna protect your hands if you're out in the elements working with something or even if you're just like me and you're changing diapers day to day even though my last product was not organic, all natural, I do want to talk about something that is, and that is the Honest Company Organic Healing Balm. It is a nourishing ointment for dry, irritated, or sensitive skin. It's all natural, soothing, hyper, al hypo, not hyper. It's all natural, soothing, hypoallergenic, and it is USDA organic, and this is three ounces. So first up, let's talk about smell. It does have a little bit of a smell, and I can't really describe it. Not floral, not fruity, not perfumed. It's just the smell of maybe the ingredients that are in it. 
It's got sunflower seed oil. It's got beeswax. So that's kind of the smell that I'm getting. It's got olive oil, coconut oil, shea butter. Um, I don't know how to say this. Tamanu oil, um, calendula extract, chamomile. So that's just think about those things. That's the smell that you're going to have. I got this for my daughter originally. She was having a little bit of a diaper rash and um, we were using a few other products that were great, but I wanted something to kind of mix in there because we do cloth diapers most of the time. And with most cloth diapers, you can't use a diaper rash cream because it's going to stain the diaper and it's also going to keep the diaper from being absorbent. So I needed something that I could use and I emailed the Honest Company and they emailed me back. One of the things they say that you can use it for is a diaper cream, but I wanted to make sure I could use it with cloth diapers. So I emailed the company, they emailed me back and they said, yes, you can use this with cloth diapers. And I can say that yes, you can, because I've done that now for almost two years. Um, and so I, I have used this on her diaper rashes before whenever they're not real severe. And I've used it for any rash that she's had on her face. She has sensitive skin like I do. And even though it's better now, when she was a baby, she was very sensitive to a lot of things. To aftershave, to cologne, to perfume, certain laundry detergents from other people. Like if they picked her up and were holding her, then she would get a rash around here in reaction to something they were wearing. So I wanted something I could put on her face. Um, and I really didn't know what to try. So I picked this up. It works great on any little rash that she's had on her face. If she gets those dry spots like I do on her arm, I've used it for this, on her legs, belly, everywhere. And I feel good about using this on her. I started using it as well. This has worked great for my problem spots if you are looking for something that is organic, all natural, and you don't think the other things are a good fit for you that I've mentioned, then give this a try. Um, it is pH balanced, it is plant-based, um, organic oils, deeply hydrate and help protect skin. Um, it helps ease inflammation, promote healing, restore skin, great to use on irritated skin, eczema, diaper rash, minor cuts and scrapes and so much more. Now, this is usually in the baby section of the store, um, but that doesn't mean that it's just for babies. I mean, you can, it doesn't even, it just mentions that you can use it for diaper rash, but this is not a baby product. They just normally keep the honest products in the baby section. So give this a try and let me know what you think. And if you've used this for any other ailments that you have, I'd love to hear because I think this could be used for a lot more than just the diaper rash and the dry skin. We're on to lotion number four and I'm gonna cheat just like I did last month and I'm gonna talk about two products. But both of these products are hand cream specifically. The other things I've mentioned can be used all over. Um, but this is something that I use just as a hand cream. And the first thing I'm going to talk about is the Silk Elements Shea Butter with Olive Oil Hand Cream. I got this at Sally Beauty Supply. And I think you can order it online from them. This is my third tube of this. That's how much it works for me. I'm only down to one now, but I used to keep two. One in my car or my bag and then one beside the bed. So that way when I was getting in bed at night or during the day around the house, I could throw it on. But then if I'm out, I had one that was easy access. This does have a scent to it. My husband doesn't like wearing it because he thinks it's, it's a scent that doesn't suit him. But the scent fades and it is in shea butter and olive oil scent is how I would describe it. This has been my favorite hand cream for a few years now, probably four years or longer. It works so great with my dry hands. Um, again, it doesn't have a scent that I really mind. I know a lot of people want a scent and I love things with a fruity scent or the slightly floral scent, but I find that a lot of things that have scents that smell really great don't help with my dry skin. I love Bath & Body Works scents, but I can only use them when I'm not having skin problems. If I'm having an irritation or I have cracking, that's not going to do anything for me. And so <laughs> even though there's nothing that I'm featuring today that has just this amazing smell to it, the smell doesn't do anything when your skin is in pain or cracked. Um, so that's why I feel like it's kind of like a wah wah, there's nothing, you know, 
really fun that we're talking about as far as scents are concerned, but this is all about healing your skin and giving your skin the nourishment that it needs. The second hand cream, and I'm gonna try my best to pronounce this French, is Balm de Jardinet, 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 Jardinet. I was a French major for a few years and took French from sixth grade all the way, no, from fifth grade. I took French from fifth, sixth, seventh grade, two years in high school, and two years in college, and I have basically forgotten just about everything that I once knew. So this is Balm de Jardinet, Balm, Balm de Jardinet, Pour le, pour le, pour le main. It's Gardner's Hand Healer. So this is a hand cream. It is 20% shea butter and it has seven magical plants. Um, I will link down below where you can get this. It is made in France, so you know it's fancy. This does have a scent to it that may not be your cup of tea, but this works. It has an herbal scent. Let's see, what are the ingredients? The ingredients aren't listed. They might have been listed. It comes inside a, a cardboard package. This is my second one of these. This works great. Um, but it does have a scent that I normally wouldn't love, but it does fade as well. But it works great. This is another great hand cream. It is 2.6 ounces. So this is another option that you may want to try. If you aren't um, interested in the shea butter and olive oil, then you may want to give this one a go. And this works great as well. We are down to my last lotion, and it is probably the most interesting, um, but also the most specific to a need that you may have and that is the two old goats arthritis and fibromyalgia essential lotion and this is just a little one this is two ounces it says that it tackles your toughest aches pains and swelling in joints tendons and muscles while moisturizing the skin without greasiness or strong medicinal odor i have to tell you they lied about one thing and that is the smell it says it does not have a strong medicinal odor. Well, they just lied. It does. It has a very strong smell. <laughs> I just got a whiff of it. It's a very strong smell. I'm not going to lie to you about it. It's got lavender, chamomile, rosemary, eucalyptus, peppermint, and birch bark. It's a very eucalyptus smell. Um, very medicinal. So I don't know why they put that on there. They shouldn't have even tried to cover that up. It does fade eventually, so you can put it on in the morning, then when you get to work, everyone around you probably shouldn't be smelling it. Um, I usually use it at night, so I don't have to worry about that. But it does have a smell, so I'm just putting that out there because the package is gonna tell you one thing and that is not the case. I don't have arthritis and I don't have fibromyalgia, so I really can't speak to those two claims that they're making. Um, I know that a lot of people that have those two issues say this does help them, um, but I can speak to the other. It talks about um, aches, pains, and swelling in joints, tendons, and muscles, and that is something that I live with, um, and I won't go into all of my health issues, but I do have um, all over full body swelling, and that builds up in my joints, and it makes things very painful. I especially have pain in my knees to the point that it makes me sick to my stomach, brings me to tears, um, and it's just incredibly painful. A big trigger for me um, would be heat and humidity, and those are the two things that I live with the majority of the year in Arkansas. Um, so right now, it's just at the peak of what my body has been dealing with for this summer. So even going for a walk, riding the bicycle, driving a car, um, anything that I have to be outside moving like that is going to be painful for me. And so a lot of times I get in bed at night and I can't sleep because of the pain that I'm feeling in my legs specifically. And so one thing that's really helped me has been this lotion because I can put it on and in a few minutes I start to feel some relief and then eventually I have full relief. The only way I can really explain how it works is the oils that are in here. I don't do essential oils, but people that do talk about how the um, body absorbs the oils and how it brings relief. And so that's what this is doing. You usually have to have a carrier for your oils. Um, sometimes people use coconut oil or another kind of lotion. Um, to carry it into the body and so I'm guessing that's what this is doing their lotion base their carrier is a goat's milk lotion and then they have the oils in there and that's what's giving the relief to your body it does work for me 
Um, I can't promise that if you're dealing with these things that it's going to work for you. I don't want to give you that promise, but I would say it's worth a try. You can buy a really big bottle or just start with this small bottle. So I wanted to mention it because even though it's not a lotion that's going to maybe appeal to the majority of you, there may be one or two of you that have been looking for something and didn't even know it existed. And so I wanted to mention this. So this is something that you may want to give a try. Um, and let me know if it works for you. So I know this wasn't the most like out there exciting <laughs> video, but I hope that something that I mentioned today is going to help at least one of you out there. Um, if you have dry skin, problem skin, sensitive skin, you know how hard it can be to find relief and to find something that works for you. And so even though all of these things work for me, they may not all work for you, but maybe there's one product that does. And I just wanted to do this, um, especially with winter coming up to uh, let you know I understand what it's like to deal with those issues and I wanted to offer some help and some suggestions of how to get through this winter. If you have any products that have just been a lifesaver for you and have really worked, I would love for you to leave that in the comments and to let me know because it may be something that I need to give a try or maybe someone else watching needs to see um, what you are suggesting and what has worked for you. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope that you guys have a great start to the fall that's coming up. And I just want to thank you so much for watching. You can find me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, all those things. I'll have the links down below. And I hope that you'll come say hi. Thanks for watching. Bye.